For question number 12, the correct option is option 2. And to show how we have arrived there, some steps of solution. In the first step, I already have said in the hint that the bond between two silver atoms behaves like an ideal spring and therefore a silver atom at the end of a bond can be taken to be a prototype of a spring block system. Now for this spring block system prototype, where this is the spring, which is the bond, the force constant of the bond, that is symbol is small k, this can be defined as f upon delta x. That is the force required to create unit deformation in this spring-like bond. F by delta x means force constant of the bond is the force required for unit deformation, either extension or compression of this spring-like bond. And suppose the mass of this silver atom is taken to be m. And some data given in the question, let me take them down. So first is frequency of oscillation of the silver atom f is equal to 10 to the power 12 per second that is 10 to the power 12 hertz. Also, the molecular mass of silver, symbol should be small m. This is 108. If they just give us a number, it's same as 108 atomic mass unit. That is the mass of each atom of silver. And you have already discussed in theory classes if molecular mass is 108 AMU, atomic mass unit, the corresponding molar mass, symbol is capital M0, should be 108 gram. One mole is Avogadro's number of molecules or atoms of silver. And that total mass is 108 gram, the same numerical value, but why molecular mass is in atomic mass unit, molar mass in gram unit and converting into SI, molar mass of silver can be written as 0 0.108 kg. See these conversions carefully. Also given Avogadro's number, Na, the number of silver atoms in one mole or one gram atom. That is Avogadro's number given to be 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 per mole in three significant figures and here also molar mass should be written in 0 0.108 kg per mole. Once again quickly, frequency of oscillation of the atom is 10 to the power 12 per second. Molar mass of silver is 0 0.108 kg per mole following from this information of molecular mass. Avogadro's number is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of silver per mole or per gram atom of silver. Remember, silver has got atomicity of one. That is, one molecule contains one atom. Therefore, gram atom and gram molecule or mole, they have the same meaning. That is step number one. Moving on to step number two, let us recall this more familiar formula for time period of a block at the end of a spring that is t is equal to 2 pi square root of m upon k where the symbols are the usual meaning it follows therefore frequency of oscillation is 1 upon t that is 1 upon 2 pi into square root of k by m since we are looking for this force constant of the spring like bond Squaring both sides, you can write down f square is equal to 1 upon 4 pi square into k upon m. From this, making k the subject, k is coming out to be 4 pi square into f square into m. Let me call this equation number 1. I have got force constant of the bond k is equal to 4 pi square f square into m, f being frequency of oscillation of this silver atom of 
mass small m. In my next step, let us recall the relation between molecular mass small m and molar mass m0 for a substance in general. One mole of a substance contains Avogadro's number of molecules. Now for silver, having atomicity of one is equivalent to saying that one gram atom of silver of mass M0 contains Avogadro's number of atoms, each of mass small m. Therefore, we can write the mass of each atom of silver is equal to its molar mass divided by the Avogadro's number. Isn't it? So you can write next, for each silver atom, the mass M is equal to the molar mass M0 divided by Avogadro's number Na. That is my question number two. And making use of it in the next step, we can write down that the force constant of the bond K is equal to four pi square into F square, substitute small m now, that is m0 by Na. And lastly, we put the numerical data, that is 4 into pi square, the value of F was given above 10 to the power 12 per second. This quantity will be squared into the molar mass of silver, 0. 108 kg per mole divided by Avogadro's number, universal constant, that is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 per mole in three significant figures. Let us calculate this without help of any calculator or anything else. We can do it even orally, approximately. Let's see that. Par mole, par mole cancelling out. This is coming out to be 4 pi square into 10 to the power 24 into 0 0.108 divided by 6.02 into 10 to the power 23. Look at the unit. It's coming out to be kg per second square. Moles cancelling out is kg per second square. We can write it as, let me write it as it is, kg per second square. And then approximating it numerically. 4 into pi squared is approximately 10. I'm going for some oral calculation into 10 to the power 23, cancelling out, making it simply 10. So I have got 10 here in numerator. We can write 0 0.108 as 10.8 into 10 to the power minus 2 divided by 6.02. Kg per second square is same as kg meter per second square by meter, isn't it? I'm just showing the equivalence. But this is same thing as Newton per meter, the expected unit of force constant of a spring or in this case a bond. Now look at this value. Here, 10 to the power minus 2 cancelling out with 10 square. We are getting 4 into 10.8 by 6.02. It's numerically approximately about 7.1. So you finally get, let me write somewhere here, the force constant of the bond is about 7.1 Newton per meter, which is option number two in the question. And we have chosen option two as the correct option. So that is this question solved.